OPEC as a regional body comprising 16 member states has a governance structure to effectively intervene in regional disputes. Now joining us in studio is the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of International Relations and Cooperation, Salma Ashpala, Ashpala Musavi, to explain to us these structures and how, of course, they operate. Good evening, Pearson. Thank you so much for making the time to join us. Thank you. Thank you very much, dear. It's a well, pleasure. Well, perhaps you can begin by outlining the functions of the Politics, Defence and Security Organ. Yes, uh, indeed, SADAC has an organ on politics, defense and security, and as the name indicates, the purpose of the organ is basically to maintain peace and security in the region. Uh, the organ uh, has got its own blueprint, which is the strategic indicative uh, uh, plan of the organ. Uh, it is also guided by the treaty of, uh, of SADAC. Uh, it meets once a year, and basically it's a, it's a mechanism that makes sure that there is peace and security in the region because without peace you cannot talk about integration. Of course. Now, how is the work of the organ of politics, defense and security different from that of the Troika, and who serves on the Troika? Oh, the organ is comprised of all the 16 members. It is, uh, have its chair, uh, and as I said, it meets once a year. But then in between the two summits, you have the organ troika. And the organ troika is comprised of the current chair. In, the, in, the, in this case, the current chair is Angola. And uh, it's also comprised of Zambia, who is the incoming chair, and Tanzania, which is the immediate past chair. So it's three countries, which are basically uh, making sure that... Uh, the issues of peace and security are addressed too timely. Okay, now we also have a double troika. Yes. What is its work and who serves on that particular organ? Now, SADAC has two pillars. You have the peace and security pillar, and then you have the integration pillar, which is about social and economic development. And both those pillars have got troikas. You have the organ troika, and then you have the, the SADAC troika. In this case, the SADAC troika is South Africa, which is the current chair, Namibia, the incoming uh, chair, and uh, Eswatini, the past immediate chair. Mm -hmm. Now, in instances where you have the double troika meeting, it's basically to take a decision on peace and security related issues. Because peace and security is fluid. When a situation erupts, you need to act and you have to act fast. So when we talk about the double troika, it's the six countries that are covering the two institutions. But if and when necessary, the double troika can also co-opt another country. Let's say we are talking about a specific situation concerning a specific SADAC member states, then it's always useful to invite that country so that you can hear from the OSESMA. Okay. Now, taking into consideration these particular institutions, mm -hmm. how successful would you say these institutions have been? And if you can perhaps cite a couple of examples where they particular or they have been successful in their interventions. Mm. First of all, uh, the double troika mechanism is very important. It's cost effective. It saves time. It saves resources, mm -hmm. and it saves lives. Because instead of consulting everybody and check on their calendars you have those six countries because the back really stops with you. But because the organ is a subsidiary uh, institution of the, of, the, of the summit, the organ reports to the summit. Now, talking about where the organ has been successful, I think we need to go back to history to say that SADAC as we have it today really started as an organ because SADAC at that time was put in place to defend and protect the, the Southern African countries from apartheid uh, aggression. Mm -hmm. But now uh, you have countries like uh, Madagascar, you have the DRC and Lesotho. Mm -hmm. DRC, for example, at the moment we have an intervention brigade, mm -hmm. which is serving side by side with the UN uh, mission. And we have uh, really uh, safe lives in that country and prevented the situation from total uh, implosion. So in Lesotho at the moment we have the SADAC um, uh, prevention mission in Lesotho where the SADAC countries are assisting our sister countries 
with the reform of its uh, security uh, structures. Madagascar, again, you recall that when Namibia was chairing the organ, we spent a lot of time and resources to stabilize the situation in Madagascar. And I think you have not heard much about Madagascar because there's peace reigning. In fact, they are scheduled to have their elections in November. So it has been successful. Of course, there are also always hiccups in there, but mm -hmm. overall, really, the SADAC organ has performed well. Well, yes, unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for this evening. Thank you once again so much Thank for making the time so to join much. us. Thank and you. Uh, all the best with the preparations for the 38th SADC Summit. That's Thank uh, you very to much. This week. Thank you and see you there. Thank you so much. Well, there you have it. That was the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of International Relations Co and Cooperation, Salma Shpala Musavi, outlining the functions of the politics, defense and security organ in SADC, responsible for promoting peace and security in the region.